Here's a quick video on a little project I've been working on. I've uh, been really interested in Tesla's theories about ambient energy collection and looking at some of his patents. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of try out some of the stuff that's online and on YouTube that people are doing. So what I have here is a basic uh, wooden frame covered in aluminum foil with a line going in, going into the uh, garage. And I also have a ground, let's see if you can see this, that's right here next to the garage also going down. It's copper, it's about an eight foot copper rod that's pounded down uh, with about a foot sticking out. And that's also going in to the window here in the garage. So what I'm gonna do here is bring us around here inside the garage and what I have here is basically a setup where we've got the inputs from the antenna and the ground are coming in here and then basically getting rectified with a simple uh, pre-built prefab rectifier circuit I picked up at Radio Shack and <clears throat> that is then being sent to a single farad uh, capacitor with some um, with also a multimeter lead and some positive neg outputs going over back here again to a switch that's hooked up to a little LED so what I have been really interested in is just simply the amount of energy collected um, from just the outdoors and I've noticed depending on where I'm going that uh, obviously there's a different level of energy collection. So basically here in this area, as we see outside, there's a lot of good TV reception and radio reception. And so I'm able to get here on my multimeter um, a rectified output voltage of about uh, 1.5. That's not, that's not much, but it's also something and basically when I'm able to switch off my circuit here, I can close that up. Here, let's go ahead and close it up and I can charge my capacitor. So I'll switch it off and now you'll see that my capacitor is basically filling up. And it'll fill up basically to the uh, to the AC voltage, of a, which is about, I guess, uh, six to eight volts that's coming in. And it'll fill it up to the, about that number. But that's plenty enough now to go ahead and flash my little LED. So let's bring this up here. And there you go. Once I turn that switch back on again, it drops back down to its steady 1.5. Anyways, it's a lot of fun working on this stuff, and I'd love to get your input on it. All right, thanks a lot.